Hello, Year 8. How are you doing? Hope you're okay. Happy New Year. Uh, today's um, lesson, I'm just going to start off with a kind of recap of some of the stuff we learned last term uh, and also get your skills up to date on how to make good notes. And again, this is something we were learning last, last term as well. So we're going to start off this week with it. All right, so we're going to look at how diff elements differ. We're going to look at the periodic table. We're going to see if we can describe the properties of non-metals and metals, looking at the symbols of the periodic table uh, to see if we can identify um, identify elements in the periodic table and also look at um, the properties and, and whether they're metals and non-metals. And how do we find that on the periodic table? So your title, I want you to write that in first. You can obviously stop this video whenever you want to. How elements differ. Okay. And we're learning about the properties of metals and non-metals. So get that in first. Now, next thing uh, is to make a really good understanding of this double page spread. You're going to need to know the meanings of these key words. And the text was really helpful. It's basically made them in bold for you. So there's properties, physical properties, melting points, boiling points, magnetic, chemical properties, physical changes. I think that's it. So six keywords there. Now, if you've got your textbook at home, it's really quite easy to find these. The meanings of these properties is on page 136. And it's in a place called the glossary. So the glossary has got every single keyword in this textbook listed to show you what it means. Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to do is make sure you know the meanings of those keywords. If you don't have your glossary, I want you to search in Google the meaning of properties and physical properties. Okay, and it should give you a pretty good, uh, pretty good definition there. All right, so in, instead of just Googling properties, put you, you can say define properties, and that should give you a good answer. Um, a really important diagram um, for you to get in. If we're looking at the properties of these metals and non-metals, we need to know where we can find them on the periodic table. Whoops. Okay, so this diagram shows you solid liquids and gases and where they're found on the periodic table. Now it's also very useful to show exactly where metals are found on the periodic table. So that's my wife in the background, bear with me. So if I draw another line here, I'm going to show you exactly where the metals are found. Okay, so we've got down to tin, and then we go down here, and we include that. So everything that side of that line is a metal. Let's put M for metal. Okay. Now, everything I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw another line here, and everything to the right of that line is going to be a non-metal. So here, a line to nitrogen. Oh, beg your pardon. I include phosphorus here. Okay, and then I'm going to go across here. Selenium. Selenium is a non-metal. And across here to iodine. Iodine is a non-metal. Okay, there we go. So anything to the to the right of that line is actually a non-metal. Oh, I've just rubbed it out. Okay, let's start again. Fast forward if, if you want to, that's fine. Okay, so anything this way is a non, I'll just put NM for non-metal. Uh, and you'll notice there's a few here, I'll just put a little spot on them. What we call these, these are both metals and non-metals, they share properties. Um, so we call them, actually call them metalloids in here. Let 
we can read my writing. That's an O. Metalloids. That's M E double T A L O I D S. Metalloids. So these things, are, what I want you to do is draw them on, because you've got um, a periodic table at home. I want you to draw this onto your periodic table. So you're going to colour in the solids, liquids, and gases first, okay, and label them with their colours. And then I want you to get uh, draw a nice thick line on it as well to see, okay, where are the metals? Where are the non-metals? Where are the metalloids? Uh, and you might have to actually draw and label an arrow to each of those as well because you'll have already have the colours for solids, liquids, and gases. So there, once you've done that, you should be able to understand, okay, on, on the periodic table there's patterns, yeah? Most on the left-hand side are metals and most of them are solids. Most on the right-hand side are non-metals and most are gases, right? But then there's some funny ones in between called the metalloids which share properties of both, okay? So that's a really important diagram, so let's tick. Okay, we've covered that. Some next really important points are in the do you remember. So metals conduct electricity. They allow electricity to flow easily. A really good point. Get these in your notebooks, full sentences. Melting and boiling are examples of physical changes. They are, and I've got a line through there, reversible changes. Okay. No new substances are made in a physical change. Chemical reactions are chemical changes. They are reversible changes. New substances are formed. For your notes, one, two, three, four points. Really important to understand this double page spread to get those four points in your book. Then we can start. Let's go color. I'll change it to red. Looking at these questions. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now this is using the text to try and answer questions now. So all of these questions refer to information that you can see just above each one. So look at the diagram of the periodic table. Can you answer the question using that information? So I want you to write the question down and then write the answer underneath. And I'm going to ask you to share those answers with us um, during the lesson. Okay. Same for these. Okay, here we go. Information was above. And same for this one, information is above here. Stop and pause the video as you like. You know, it's a very long video, but um, as, you, as you're going through the video, stop the work, stop doing, stop the video and uh, complete the work I've asked you to. Okay, thank you.